Hi, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Josh and today we're doing a walk around video on this beautiful 2016 Hyundai Tucson. Now, starting from the front, I'm going to walk you around this car, show you the condition and some of the features and their benefits as well. As you can see, the Tucson does have a very beautiful design to it with that grey and black front grille there, making that silver Hyundai badge in the middle stand out. Um, really well. It does also contrast really nicely with the uh, dark grey colour of the vehicle as well. Now if I'm being super picky at the front, we have actually gone through the effort to touch up a couple of minor stone chips on the front there for you. However, considering the age of the vehicle, it is actually in remarkable condition. We've got those sharp headlights there with the projector beams so you know you get a very clear cut off for those headlight bulbs as well. And just down here we have also got the DRLs built in there. If we have a look at that first alloy wheel, really good condition, unmarked wheel there and plenty of tread left in that tyre too. We've also got the indicator built into the side fender and the colour matched door handles and side mirrors. Now if we open this door up and have a look inside, the seat design in these vehicles is actually really nice with the blue stitching that goes through the middle. It's a very unique design but really ties in well with the whole colour scheme of the vehicle. The doors themselves tell me the previous owner hasn't been kicking them open with very minimal scuffs there as well. If we keep making our way down, the paintwork does look absolutely stunning and if we have a look at that next alloy wheel, once again, really good condition, completely unmarked wheel there as well. Now making our way to the back of the vehicle, we've got really sharp tail lights here with uh, Hyundai badging right in the middle there. We've also got a high mounted stoplight and the rear wiper as well. Now if I open this up, there is a boot release button that's just there. Something amazing about this car is just how much space you get back here. So um, you've also got a cargo blind if you wanted to hide what's in the back. And when we pop this up, you get that full size spare in there as well with all your jack and tools. All looks like it hasn't actually been used, which is always a good sign. Closing, whoop, closing that back up. Having a look at this side, the fuel filler cap is on this side being the safe side. It's just a pop to open. And if you have a look at that next alloy wheel there, once again, uh, completely unmarked. So three really good condition wheels so far and plenty of tread left in the tires too. Paintwork all the way along this side is also in remarkable condition. There is one or two minor touch ups from stone chips, but nothing too concerning. That next alloy wheel, once again, completely unmarked. And that is usually the wheel that gets the most amount of scratches. So it is amazing to see that it, that one is also completely unmarked. So four unmarked wheels, amazing paintwork all the way around. What we're going to do now though is have a look at the engine. Taking a look under the bonnet now, what we have is a four cylinder, two litre petrol engine. The power output from this engine is 121 kilowatts with 203 newton metres of torque. The vehicle itself does run on 91 fuel with a 62 litre capacity tank. The fuel consumption combined is about 7.9 litres per 100, which will give you an average fuel distance, depending on your driving style, about 785 kilometres from a full tank. Taking a look inside the Hyundai Tucson now, just on the driver's side door here, do you get your power window settings? The driver's side is automatic up and down. Just above that is the central locking buttons, your window locks, and the toggle for your power mirrors. Just next to the steering wheel here, you've got the headlight adjuster, so you can actually change the angle of your headlights. You've also got the brightness control for your cluster and traction control, as well as two blank switches if you wanted to add anything extra. On the right-hand stalk here, we've got automatic headlights as well as your indicators. You've also got your washer and wiper settings on the left-hand side here. On the steering wheel itself, you've got all your menu settings as well as your cruise control settings on the right. The menu settings just here do let you scroll through what you see in the digital display in front of you. You've also got all your media settings on the left here for the center, for the main screen in the middle. Now if you pan on into the middle here, I will put the car into reverse and show you the reverse camera. So you can see the rear bar there which is awesome because it makes it really easy when you are backing up. You've also got AM and FM radio for your media and then you've got uh, USB, iPod, Apple CarPlay, uh, Android Auto, you've also got inbuilt, uh, inbuilt hard drives as well so if you needed to store anything on there. You've also got Bluetooth options as well which is amazing. There is also an option for USB image so if you wanted some nice images on there, customize your backgrounds, you can do that as well. Now just down here you've got a few hard buttons for the radio. Down here again you've got the your climate control settings so you can just set the temperature here with the fan speed over there 
down here again you've got two 12 volt sockets a usb port and an aux as well as a little bit of storage with a little non-slip mat there if you wanted to keep your phone in there while charging or plugged in now the shifter itself if you bring it down into drive and bump it to the right you can shift through the gears manually and just down here again you've got downhill descent control and three blank buttons again you've got two cup holders in here a hard handbrake and a leather wrapped center console there which if you open it up you do get a little bit of storage in there as well now if you pan around the interior you will notice it is in really good condition so credit to the previous owner for how well they have actually looked after this car thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video on this hyundai tucson as you can see it is in really good condition so the previous owner has gone through every effort to look after it and so should you so please ask us about our glass coat because that's going to give you a lifetime warranty on your paintwork and the premium mechanical protection plan because that's going to give you an extra five years of cover on 181 electrical and mechanical components of the vehicle it also gives you 10 years of platinum roadside assist as well as much more so if you are interested julie and mario our business managers can tailor a finance package for you to suit your needs and fit those things in and they will only adjust your payments by a very small amount each week now the other thing is have a look at our Google reviews because we are sitting on 4.8 stars with over 950 reviews from customers Australia wide. So people enjoy dealing with us. We make the process easy and we like to ensure that you are buying a good quality vehicle from the right people. So have a read of what people have to say and give us a call on 9907 My name is Josh and thank you so much for watching.